everybody, it's Paige. So today's video is going to be my November empties. I have quite a few products to share with you all. So yeah, let's just get right into it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and you would like to be, please click the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. So here we go. The first product that I used up, no surprise, is a Batiste dry shampoo. This is in the Coconut and Exotic Tropical scent and this is one of the huge cans and this was $9.99 from Marshalls. I love this dry shampoo so much. It's my favorite um, and it's only $10 for this jumbo can. It's twice as big as the normal size cans which are like $4.99 at Marshalls I think. So love this so much. I will always repurchase this. I have two more of these in my uh, hair drawer already so love this stuff so much totally recommend it next we have the herbal essences i think it's how you use, or essence or essences this is the smooth smoothing conditioner i used up the shampoo in my last empties video um, but i finally finished off the conditioner this smelled it smelled all right nice floral um i love the packaging i think it's really cute i Probably won't repurchase this just because I have so many shampoo and conditioners right now, but this was really great while I had it. I obviously used the whole thing and I enjoyed it. Next is one of my holy grail products. If you have blonde hair, this is the Shimmer Lights Shampoo Blonde and Silver Purple Shampoo. This is covered in like, like facial serum which you'll see why in a second but I love this shampoo so much I get mine from Sally's Beauty Supply it's like 11 to 12 dollars I think and it's super super purple let's see if you can see no not really it's like super dark purple so it works really 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 well I use this about once a week but now I'm out so I need to buy a new one but I love this so so much it's my all-time favorite purple shampoo I've tried other ones that are like not as dark purple and they don't work as well and I've never had like my hair look purple from using that and sometimes I leave it on for like longer than it says you're supposed to but never had any issues like that so pretty user-friendly Next we have a face mask. This is the exfoliating mud mask, the detoxifying charcoal one from Tree Hut Skincare. I got this for free from Influencer. This is like, I don't think this is a full size, but as you can see, I completely used up this product. I loved it so much. The only problem was it did start to dry out towards the end of me using it, but I still was able to get it all out and it is very exfoliating. I love love exfoliating masks i highly recommend this to anyone not because i got it for free but like because i genuinely enjoyed this product and i am probably going to be purchasing the full size with my own money because i enjoyed it that much next is the bare minerals purifying facial cleanser and this was like a little travel size that i got in like a kit from tj maxx or something um it, it was a very mild plain unscented cleanser I I mean it worked but like I feel like I need a little bit more to my cleansers whether it be for like acne specifically or like oily skin just because this was very mild and I felt like I don't know it cleaned my skin but it didn't like prevent breakouts or anything like that I don't feel so I won't be repurchasing this but if you have sensitive skin I think this would be great for you next is the Clinique take the day off makeup remover for lids lashes and lips I love this makeup remover so 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 much like it works so good for me no stinging in my eyes it's one of those makeup remover makeup removers that has like layers and you have to like shake it up to mix them and then you put it on a little cotton pad and it removes eye makeup so well um, I love this product so so much the travel size was so convenient I highly highly recommend this makeup remover but what are your favorite makeup remo liquid liquid makeup removers let me know in the comments below because I want to try some new ones as well Next I have these little samples from Bioderma. I have the makeup removing micellar solution and the purifying cleansing micellar solution. So these were little samples that I got from a Beautylish order I think. What is my hair? Um, but yeah I finally got around to using them and I really did enjoy both of these. I loved the makeup removing one. I'm such a fan of liquid eye makeup remover. like. It just works so much better than just like a makeup wipe. 
Um, I always, always use liquid makeup remover for my eyes. So I really did like this one. It's the one with the reddish pink cap. I highly recommend this one. This one also worked well, but I felt like it's an, I mean, it's just kind of an extra step to wash your face and have to use a liquid makeup remover and have to use this. Um, but it was nice. I enjoyed it. If you are looking for a product that serves that purpose, very very good one. Next I have the Lancome the Melton Sleeping Mask. This was just a little deluxe sample and I loved this product. I won't be repurchasing this because I'm sure it's very very expensive and I have other sleeping masks but I've been obsessed with sleeping masks recently. I really want to try some new ones out so also let me know in the comments below if you have if you recommend any. I have some from Sephora that I really like and I have another one. What is it? I can't remember who it's from, but I do have another one that I like. I can't remember. It's another sample one though, but love this stuff so much. If you have the chance to try it, I recommend doing so. Next I have the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara, and this I got from the dollar store, and it still like has plenty of product in here, but this is a horrible <laughs> mascara. This is more of like a just a declutter, like I'm throwing this away because it's so bad. It literally transfers onto my eyelids like nothing else. Like, oh my gosh, like it's so messy. And even if you sit there, let it dry, you know, go like this, wait several minutes, it's still like, I don't like, I, I don't have this problem with any other mascara, but this one is horrible so bad and it doesn't even look good. I don't like the wand. It doesn't like give my lashes any extra volume or length really so unfortunately this was a complete Wet n Wild fail. I love so so many products from Wet n Wild especially their uh, Mega Glow highlighters. Love them so much. This however was a fail. Maybe I got a bad one. Maybe that's why it was at the dollar store. Maybe it's discontinued. I don't know but the I do not recommend the Mega Wear mascara. If this worked out for you, let me know because I don't know. That was that was a mess. Okay, now I have a ton of sheet masks and little sample type things, so I'll go through the samples pretty quickly. This is the Bite Lush Lip Wipes. This did not work for me. This did not work at all. I had a liquid lipstick on and I used it's like a makeup remover wipe but for your lips and it did not work. Like it, it was so hard to get it off, my lipstick off. It was so hard. So maybe I'll try these with a non-liquid lipstick first um, or next time I should say because for matte liquid lipsticks, this did not work out for me. Next, I have the Essential Cream Fluid from Amore Pacific. This is a moisturizer that I did, in, I did enjoy using the one-time use packet, but obviously I can't form... A very like educated opinion on this because I did only use it one time but I did have no negative reactions to it or anything like that it was quite pleasant made my skin feel good so that was a positive next I have the Clinique smart custom repair serum I loved this so much I did only use it one time but it made my skin feel so amazing and soft and hydrated and like not oily or greasy and healthy love 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 this I highly recommend trying that if you get a chance next is the origins ginseng energy boosting moisturizer and then again this is a one-time use product but this smelled so good I love the way this smelled and I do have the matching eye cream and like a deluxe eye sample that I'm really excited to try now now that I've used this so yeah I really am interested in looking at getting hopefully I can find like a deluxe sample of this because I would like to try it more but I believe Origins is quite expensive so we'll see about that next I have a couple of these deep cleaning pore strips from the Up and Up brand from Target and I think these are just really fun. They don't work like incredibly well but they're fun to do. They're good for a little pampering session if you're like doing like a face mask night or whatever. Um, it's fun to pop one of these on while you watch some YouTube videos or something like that so I do really enjoy using these kind of nose strips I guess they're called deep cleaning pore nose strips. 
Next, I have the New Age Beauty Collagen Under Eye Pads. I got these in a pack from TJ Maxx a while ago. And these ones just, it's like a sheet mask, but it's only for the under eye section of your face. Um, and I do really like these. They're, again, really fun. I'll use these in conjunction with the nose pore strips. Um, because usually if I'm doing, like, a full sheet mask, you know, your nose is covered, or if I'm doing like a clay mask, your nose is covered, so I'll use these when I'm using these as well, or sometimes I'll use each of them alone, it just depends on what I'm feeling that night. And now, the rest of these are all sheet masks. I have become a sheet mask lover. I was not a big fan before, gonna be honest, I literally, like, I just wasn't a fan. I don't know why. I just, I feel like I have oily, acne prone skin and I always want like a clay mask that'll like really clean out my skin and like, you know, get all the impurities out. Um, but these actually are so soothing. I usually do these after I do a clay mask. So I'll do a clay mask or a mud mask or even like a peel off mask and then I'll put one of these on afterwards and it's so refreshing and soothing and cooling. So. I've got this one from Bio Republic. This is the Pomegranate Crush Illuminating Fiber Mask. This one I really did enjoy. It was relaxing. It smelled very light but pleasant. Um, I, I can't tell you if it made my skin super duper illuminating, but it I did enjoy using it. I got this in an Ipsy bag a while ago, so I'm not sure what the price point on this is. However, I enjoyed it. Um, and I would consider uh, like looking into these. www.biorepublic.com is the website. Next is the Luminous Hydration So S O O A E Nature Collagen Essence Mask, and it's the green tea one. I loved this. I love green tea skincare. I think it's very soothing. <laughs> soothing and calming and I do enjoy the smell of green tea as well so this one is nice I'm not sure where I got this one I honestly have no clue where I got it it could have been ipsy I'm not sure but I did enjoy that while I while I used it then I have one from the cream shop or the creme shop let me know how you say this if you know how to say it correctly I really want to know because I've been purchasing a lot of their products recently and talking about them in videos and then I don't know how to pronounce it. I might message them on Instagram and see if they'll respond and let me know. Um, but this is the Clarifying Peppermint Cocoa Sheet Mask. I love this sheet mask so much. I love all of their sheet masks and I got the, I get mine from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they're so affordable. You can buy them individually for like $1.99 and then you can also buy a five pack for $5.99. So this is kind of a more like wintry holiday-ish face mask that I just recently got and I do really enjoy that. Next I have two of these New Age Beauty Retinol Spa Treatment Masks and these are like anti-aging ones and I do really like these as well. These are from TJ Maxx, I think I just said that, but these are great. I got a, like six pack of them so I do have quite a few of these, but they do work well. They make my skin feel nice and tight and clean after I use these. And then I also have the Forever Young by Jean per Perry, I think is how you say that, Energizing Orange Mask Sheet, Give a Boost to Your Skin. And these are great, especially in the morning, you know, um, it's a little pick-me-up, makes you feel a little bit better, kind of like a little, you know, I guess like pick-me-up, that's a good way to, to describe it. I did get a pack of these from TJ Maxx as well. And I do really like them. I, Jean, P-I-E-R-R-E, is the brand, I believe. So, or Forever Young might be the brand. So, yeah, I am actually interested in researching a little bit more about these as well. <sighs> Man, I'm talking a lot today. <laughs> and my very last empty is the Coco Star, K-O-C-O -O Star. Sheet pumpkin mask, and this is was $1.99 from TJ Maxx, and this is Korean, Korean skincare, and this was kind of weird. This was like a bunch of little pumpkin shapes, like that were about this big, and then you just like stick them on. It says apply each slice onto a cleansed, dry face, leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, and then massage excess into the skin. 
This says it is a facial mask that helps to promote gloss and vitality to the skin. So it was kind of weird to see that. It, but then I, I was at Target the other day and I saw more sheet masks that were like little kiwis and little apples that were like about this big that you just like stick on your face. And my only negative about this sheet mask was that it smelled like pumpkin. Like... Not like pumpkin spice or vanilla pumpkin, but like like a raw, cut open, carved pumpkin. So I'm not a big fan of that smell, um, but it was very on point. I'll give them props for that. But yeah, I, I wasn't a fan of the scent of it. But it did feel great and um, it was, I'm glad I used it. It was worth a shot and this packaging is just like to die for, so. Loved that. Those are all of my empties for November. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of the things that you always find yourself using up in the comments down below. I always, mine is this, Batiste Dry Shampoo. Always, always, always. I use this so, so much. Every month I have at least one of these. So anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!